What's going on everybody? My name is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings as you know. Today guys I'm going to be filming my Q&A always after Smackdown. And first of all I, I want to thank you guys from from the bottom of my heart. And this goes and this goes out to Mark Boy as Mark Boy 316 as well. We got for SummerSlam predictions. It's been up for a day. And it already has 619 views. And yes, guys, I gained a subscriber as well at 200, 253. Guys, thank you from the bottom of my, of my heart. It's a 49-minute video, almost 50 minutes. And it has 619 views. Oh, my God, thank you. And yes, guys, I am um, drinking a Mountain Dew Baja Blast, a Taco Bell original. Let's go. And so let's get to the first question. What are your recent pickups from my buddy Michael? So I got five things, but the but the but the first one is in my my my, my living room. It's the My Name is Earl um, um, Season 3 set. But my my other four pickups are right here. So I got Chuck, the complete, the complete series. This is a five-season show. Here are the, the, discs, the discs artwork. Or like the cover artwork, I'm sorry. You have season one, two, three, four, and five. You have the and guys, I love that they did this. They have a a episode guide for season one through three, and then so orange disc. Blue disc, black disc, um, purple disc. I love the purple, and then like a tan disc, and then you have um seasons four through five on on this side. Awesome, and. Did I break it? No, I didn't break it. Thank God. Although now I can't close it. There we go. Thank God. Um, my, my next pickup... I got for all mankind. I finally have this in my collection, guys. Yes, guys, I know I got it for thirteen dollars. I I got it for twelve ninety nine. But guys, you don't understand. The Blu-ray and DVD are pricey as heck. On eBay, this goes for. Let's find out. Um, let's find out. So, the guys are for 13 bucks. There is the inside. You have Mankind, um, Cactus, Jack. You have the hardcore title on there, up there. You have Santa Claus. You have, um, Dude Love. And the Commissioner, Mick Foley. And then you have the discs. You have, um, Cactus, Mankind, and Dude Love. And then on the back, you have the picture of them three, of those three. You have the Hell in a Cell 98. You have them Cactus and Mankind. Awesome set. And then I got 
um, for the history of the world heavyweight title for, for only six bucks. So this goes for a, a three disc set with the sock of what I what I didn't get for thirty, but but this goes for eleven dollars and eighty cents, pre owned. I'm not getting it pre owned. I'm pre owned. I'm getting it brand new. Yes, I know that says used, but come on, the discs are in perfect shape. They all work, and then uh, then. As you know, I got this for six bucks. Um, I hear the paper, the, the, the dock is bad, but I'll be the judge of that, which I probably know it, but I've never watched it. But there are some pretty good matches on here. You have Hulk Hogan versus R Ric Flair, career versus career, steel cage. At Halloween Havoc 94. You have Sting versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Hollywood Hulk Hogan versus Goldberg. Uh, yawn. <sighs> See? Yawned. And then probably the pickup of the entire year. For six bucks. Halloween 5. The Revenge of Michael Myers. This goes for I I don't even know what. This goes for like brand new. Twenty seven dollars brand new. And I and I got it for six bucks used and it works. I love it. Brand new sealed. It goes for 35 bucks. I got this for a steal and we all know it. I love it. I cannot wait to watch this. So the, the questions are from Mark Boy 316. Um, um, as you know, Triple H was put in charge of creative for, for, for WWE. Now that Vince has retired, it's been six days and I still can't believe it. Um, so how do you think Triple H will do as head of creative? I think he'll do fantastic. Um, because of, okay, di okay, did you guys hear the promo that Roman Reigns did with Theory? So, so, th so Theory came out, and said, I I'm gonna cash in on you, Roman. And he said, I don't think you will because your daddy's not here no more. And, and the daddy meeting Vince. And he said, thank God, thank God Vince isn't here or I would have to be his daddy. I'm like, okay, Triple H, Triple H wrote that promo and you guys know it. And Montez Ford drew blood. I love it. I love it. I think he I think Triple H will do great. I I believe that 100%. But it will not happen right away. As you guys know, SummerSlam on Peacock is still rated PG. It's not rated PG-14 just yet. Will they change it? I don't know. Will the world end? I don't know that either. Will Brock Lesnar win? Once in a blue moon, I might be wrong. But you know I'm going for Roman. Because it was in my predictions video. And and everything I can... 
it, everything I just said m might happen. It might not. Triple H will do great. That's all I know. Dude, that promo and the promo tonight on SmackDown by Paul Heyman, Roman Reigns was not even on the show. And that promo was fantastic. Roman Reigns didn't even have to be in the ring. And, and pr dude, Paul Heyman on the mic, man, is always a fantastic time. And yes, guys, I'm watching SmackDown from 2020 because there's a special rant that that I'm going to do. So stay tuned for that. Because there's only two people who who know who knows about that is Mark Boy and the Wrestling King. The the rest of you guys just have to wait. And so Mark Boy's net so 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 Mark's next question is: Do you think he will rehire Sasha Banks and Naomi? Th that one. I'm not for sure, because they walked out of the company when they handed the titles to Vince. You all know this. I even made a, a I I even made a, a video on it, and I still don't know. So, will will they get title matches? Uh, not not for a while. But will they come back? Possibly, yes. And like we said in our um, predictions video, I believe Bailey will return. Yes. Possibly a SummerSlam? Yeah. And then his next question is, because... Because we don't really know if Sasha Banks and Naomi will return. This next question is, and and final quit and final question: What are you looking forward with Triple H being in charge, dude? A lot, a lot of things need to change. First of all, you guys know I believe nobody watches NXT anymore. I haven't watched NXT since Dolph Ziggler was NXT champion. That was the last time I watched it. And Ziggler being champion was <clears throat> was what? Like Oh, yay. Main event. Main event. 2020 is a women's match. That's great. Um, his, his, he won the title March 8th, 2020. No, I'm sorry. Whoa, I'm, I'm sorry. March 8th, 2022 at NXT Roadblock. This was a triple threat match featuring Tommaso Ciampa, who, who Ziggler pinned to win a Baker's Breaker's title. And then he won it. And then Breaker won the NXT title back on the on an episode of Raw. An NXT title match on, on an episode of Raw. That must have been a banger. No. So possibly. February 2022, going into March, and then at the beginning of April, I end, I stopped watching NXT altogether. I think I stopped watching NXT when Johnny Gargano left WWE for good. When he had his, what he had his final match, but when when NXT 
like started 2.0, I ended it right away. So Triple H, if you're listening, you need to go down to NXT and change it immediately to make your fans watch. And bring bring your stars back. Put Tommaso Ciampa at the head of everything. You don't need to make him Universal Champion. You don't need to make him... Although he is on Raw, make him an IC Champion. Make him a United States Champion. Put Finn Balor as a Champion and make him shine. Take him out of Judgment Day for goodness sake. I can't stand Judgment Day anymore. But for real. But for real. So Triple H. Okay. So, here's, the, here's the first thing you need to stop. Putting the title on guys that don't need it. Here is one. Goldberg or Oldberg, Brock Lesnar, because he doesn't need it. He never needed it in, in this current run. And yes, guys, Eli um, Elias is on my TV, so that's why I'm bopping to it. Um, so, yeah, you... He needs to change a lot because I I hear that Vince wrote that wrote like Monday Night Raw like like before he retired and like you could, like it, like if you watch an episode of Raw you can actually see like Vince wrote it before he retired so. Dude, I want more tag team matches for people who actually deserve it. The Street Profits don't deserve it. This match at, this match at, at SummerSlam probably doesn't even need to happen. That's But the match at Money in the Bank stole the show. Just stole it. But... Put the title, put the rivalries that we need on TV. Like the Usos versus the New Day in 2017, that was gold tag team wrestling. Gold rivalry, great wrestling. That hell, hell, that hell in a cell match was great. But. No more rematches. I just like re remember when Shane said no more rematch clause in 2016. Yeah, um, Shane, if you're watching wrestling nowadays, we're still getting rematches. So hopefully Triple H can end that, please. And I just hope for a better. Monday night, better Friday night, better pay-per-views, which, dude, dude, this, this SummerSlam card is very good. Very good. And I hope it's great tomorrow night. So, I would... I can't wait to see what Triple H has in store even more. Monday Night Raw, that promo was great. The Paul Heyman promo was great. What does Triple H have planned for SummerSlam this weekend? Guys, I I hope you enjoyed th this Q&A. This has been Patrick from Pores Unboxings. And I can't wait to see what Triple H has planned for, for SummerSlam. The, the night after SummerSlam and the Friday after SummerSlam. 
and from going on and on and on into the near future. This has been Patrick from Pours Unboxings, and I'm out. Peace.